Are you taking a Mediterranean cruise and one of your ports of call is Naples and you want to know what to do? Well, today we're going to cover everything that you can do on your own in Naples, Italy, and it just happens to be one of our favorite cities. Stay tuned! Hi everyone, I'm Rick. And I'm Andrea. And today we'll tell you everything you can do in Naples, Italy on your own. Mm -hmm. If you are visiting during your cruise. But first, if you like travel related video like this one, now is a great time to hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss any future videos. The cruise line will try to ch charge you a lot of money for excursion in Naples. But with a little bit of planning, you can do almost the same excursion, or better, for a fraction of the price on your own. So let's begin our tour of Naples, Italy, on your own by talking about the cruise port. Mm. So many of you have asked us, how far is the Naples city center from the cruise port? Well, the answer is the cruise port is actually in the city center. In fact, from the most popular pier where, you know, Royal Caribbean, NCL, Holland America, Princess, and Celebrity docks, well, it's a quick 15 minute walk to Plaza Ple Piazza Plebiscito, which is in the heart of Naples. Sometimes, when there's more than two ships in port, cruise ships might dock to another pier that's about 500 meters away from the main one. However, in that case, there's usually a shuttle bus that connects the two piers. Let's continue our tour of Naples on your own by talking about how to get around Naples, Italy. Mm -hmm. Naples city center is very walkable. You can reach most of the best landmarks in the city by walking. However, if you don't want to walk too much, or you have a mobility issue, you have a few other options yeah. to go around. Right, because it's not the easiest place. I mean, it's no. easy to walk, but, you know, there's lots so, of yeah. First option is the upon or off bus, that at the time of recording um, costs about 24 euro per person, and the ticket is valid for 24 hours. The upon or off bus stop is right in, the, uh, in front of the cruise pier, so it's very convenient. However, we do not recommend these options because most of the streets in the historic city center are very narrow, or pedestrian only. For this reason, the bus won't take you right in the city center and right in the core of the city, but to the closest place possible, and then you still have to walk mm. for about a few hundred meters to get the, to the spot. Yeah. Another option to get around Naples is by subway. Naples has a beautiful subway system that is very clean and very efficient. And they're very proud of it too. Very much so. It's also very cheap. In fact, the single tickets cost, uh, at the time of recording, a euro thirty, while a daily pass costs only four fifty. We will leave a link in the description below and for the subway map. A third option is to get around Naples. This is our favorite way. Is by taxi. Taxi driver at a set price that to takes you around the city for two hours. We used this option on our last cruise and we paid 70 euros for two hours and the driver took us to the best spots in town, including a great coffee place. Mm -hmm. If you are four people, it comes down to about like less than 20 euros per person. Yeah. So it's quite cheap mm -hmm. or, and way cheaper than the cruise line charged That's for a right. similar tour of the city. That's very right. All right, so let's move on to our next topic uh, in our Naples on your own video by talking about well, what to see in Naples. Now, most cruise lines will promote Naples as the gateway to Pompeii or the Amalfi Coast or the island of Capri. And these are all fantastic places to visit, and we're going to talk a little bit more about them later. But if this is your first time in Naples, we strongly recommend you to visit this beautiful, vibrant, and ancient city. You can either take a stroll along the beautiful Lungomare, or visit the old street of Spacanapoli, and it's you're going to see full of incredible architecture. So go and admire the amazing view from the Certosa or visit the ornate rooms of the Royal Palace. 
In fact, we have two videos of a walking tour of Naples and another video about what to see in Naples for free. And you can check them out here or in the description below. Now we continue our tour of Naples on your own by talking about Is Naples safe? Naples is as safe as any other very busy tourist destination. Unfortunately, the city has a real bad reputation for being dangerous. In reality, it's not as dangerous at all. Especially if you stay in the tourist areas. Absolutely. Like any other busy tourist city, pay extra attention to your belonging. If you are on a train or in a crowded area, pay yeah. attention to pickpockets. Yeah. There are a few other things in Naples that are that you have to pay a bit of extra attention. Number one is traffic. Mm -hmm. Drivers in Naples are very aggressive. Yeah. And they don't respect pedestrian very much. <laughs> no. So when you cross the street, be very careful and very aware of your surroundings. <laughs> or say a prayer. <laughs> or say a prayer. Second, some of the streets in the historic city center are thousands of years old, and the pavement is very uneven, so pay attention on where you walk to avoid tripping. Mm -hmm. This is the most dangerous part of Naples, I think. Yeah, I think so too. All right, moving on with our next topic about visiting Naples, Italy on your own. What to eat in Naples. <laughs> All right, so Naples has some of the richest and most varied food cultures in Italy, and maybe even in the entire world. And of course, you cannot possibly forget about talking about pizza when you go to Naples. Pizza in Naples is more than just food. It's almost a religion. You know, if you were to ask 10 different people in Naples where to get the best pizza, you're gonna get 10 different answers because everyone has their favorite pizza place. And in our opinion, they are almost always really good, better than any other pizza that you can eat elsewhere. Now, a couple of our favorite places are Pomodoro Pizzeria in Piazza San Gaetano and Attilo near Mercato di Pingasecca. Attilio. 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 <laughs> but Naples is not just pizza. You can have some amazing seafood in Naples or some incredible pasta dishes. A wonderful area to check out if you like seafood is Borgo Marinaro near the Castel del Lovo. There, fishermen bring the catch of the day to the many restaurants, and you can have the fresher the seafood you can yeah, get. I've tried it. It's incredible. Another great tradition in Naples is fried food that is served in a paper cone right on the street. And it's like a street food. You can and eat you, yeah. with your hands. And you can even have a pizza in, in a cone. Yeah. That's right. You can talk about mm, food in Naples without talking about the dessert. You cannot leave Naples without trying a classic baba soaked in rum, or a water sfogliatella with a ricotta filling, absolutely to die for. And which one is your favorite dessert? Baba, for mm -hmm. sure. Definitely. Now, what if you want to visit Pompeii or Herculaneum from Naples? To visit Pompeii or Herculaneum from the cruise port, you have a few options. Of course, the easiest and most convenient way is by taking an excursion with the cruise line. And you can also buy a tour with a tour company, and that could be slightly cheaper than the cruise line as well. But if you want to do it on your own, you have a couple of good options. But if you decide to do this, there is one very important step that you must do first. You must buy the ticket for the site in advance, and even better, buy the skip the line ticket. In fact, the lines at the ticket office can be super long and you're going to waste a lot of hours waiting. And if you want to support the channel, take a look at the description below and you'll see that we've left you some good links for you to check out. So once you have the ticket to get to Pompeii or the Colenium, you have two options to get there. Mm -hmm. Option number one is by taxi. Again, taxi driver charge a set fee to take you to Pompeii or Herculaneum, and this is a good option. However, keep in mind that once you get to the site, you will only have two hours to visit the, the excavation, so it's not that much time. Option number two, also the most adventure <laughs> and the cheapest, is by train. Yeah. You need to take the subway or a taxi to the train station for the Circum Vesuviana. Circum Vesuviana yeah. train, remember. From there, in about 15 minutes, you'll reach Herculaneum, or half an hour, you reach Pompeii. 
If you want to see a video that explains how to do, do, how to do so, check this link up here. If you decide to take the train, you must pay attention at the all on board time That's so right. you won't miss your ship because you they won't wait for you. No, they won't no. wait for you. No. All right, so what if you want to visit the Amalfi Coast from Naples? Amalfi is so beautiful. It's really beautiful. Now, to visit the Amalfi Coast on your own from Naples during your stay in port from a cruise, it's a bit more challenging, but it's doable. The only problem is you might, again, miss risk missing your ship. Taxis are probably the only option to ensure that you're back in time. Keep in mind that the road to Amalfi is super narrow and very windy and can be so busy during the peak season. And for this reason, a return trip to Positano can take several hours. Now, if you really want to see the Amalfi Coast, it's probably best and safer to book that excursion with the cruise line. Let's say you want to visit Capri on your own from Naples. Hmm. The island of Capri is another incredibly popular destination, very spectacular too. In fact, visiting Capri from the cruise terminal is not that difficult. First, you need to book the ticket for the ferry boat to Capri. Make sure that you buy a return ticket and you uh, leave enough time to be back in time for all on board. Yeah. Then you'll need to walk to the ferry terminal that is only a few steps away from the cruise port. So it's quite easy. Mm -hmm. From there, it's a short 45 hours ferry ride. 45 minute ferry for, ride. For, from <laughs> there, it's only a 45 minutes ferry ride to the island of Capri. Now, if you do not have a return ticket booked, please do not risk going. Yeah. In fact, we have a little story yeah, to tell you about you this. Remember the New Capri Year's? Story? Oh my Hell? goodness! Yeah. So we were. Uh, I mean, it was it was New Year's a few years ago, January first, actually. And of course, everybody was closed. All the stores are closed, and we get to the area, to the the ferry terminal, to take us to Capri, and they. They were happy to sell us the ticket to go to Capri. And they said, well, you know, okay, fine. Uh, you buy the ticket on the way back on the other side. And we're like, okay, fine, you know. So when we got to the other side, we went to the ticket counter right away to buy our return ticket. And guess what? Sold out. So what do we do? Well, we had to take another train or another um, ferry to Sorrento, um, which is back on the mainland. And, of course, Sorrento's pretty far away from Naples. You certainly can't walk there. Um, so, in the trains, they were not running because it was January 1st. So, we ended up finding a taxi, and it cost like 200 euros to, to get back. And, um, yeah, guys, if you go and do any ferry, make sure that you buy a return ticket in Naples. Confirm return tickets. That's right. We hope this video inspired you to visit the beautiful city of Naples on your cruise stop. Enjoy the many beautiful sights and the try the great food of the city can offer. Mm -hmm. Please let us know in the comment below um, if you have any, of, any questions about Naples. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we look forward to see you on our next video. Bye. Bye, guys.